Hello everyone, Vanilla Vanilla here. Today, we are doing a silly video that I definitely haven't been putting off for like two or three days. Hold on, Lavender's stuck. So, today, I do have my volume on, so let me know if you guys like the videos with volume or without volume more. I I'd like to know. Today, we are going to look at all of my alicorns and all of my unicorns. If you guys would like to see a video seeing all of my gargoyles or all of my other species, because I'm going to be honest, I don't have enough of the other species besides gargoyles to actually make a video on it, let me know and I'll definitely show them all off to you guys as well. I will also say I did give away some of the ponies already, but we do still have quite a few of them that I got to give away from the last one. If you guys want a chance to get one of these guys, I've been giving them away during live streams. I also caught one on live stream today, which I'm also going to be giving away, because why not? So we're going to start with my unicorns, and then we'll do the alicorns. First up, we have Carrot, who, as you can see, is a pink unicorn, because not shockingly at all, of course, I have a pink unicorn. It's me. That's my favorite color. I'm literally a pink guy. You know? Like, makes sense. This was actually a gift from my partner. So, I absolutely love them. They're so cute. I really like the patterns on them, and their name is Carrot, and I love bunnies, so it's it's literally perfect. Next up, I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping this unicorn, but I thought I would show them to you guys anyway because they're really cute. They are solid black with white features, such as like the tail, the legs, and the mane, and they got a little heart, a perfect heart on their nose and it is so cute <laughs> like they almost look like they're like one of the glow horses because it looks like they have no texture but they don't have a glow mutation it's so weird like their their coat is so dark you can't see the pattern all right next is one of my horses that i have solely for the purpose of breeding but i'm still going to include them i believe this one is echo this was a gift from nyx absolutely love the patterns on them they're very pretty and yes, it is Echo. I, I couldn't remember. Alright, next up we have Garnet. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this lady. She's being used in a breeding project right now, but she is absolutely gorgeous. I love the purples, blacks, and grays. They look really nice, and she is super fluffy because I adore the fluffy unicorns. Next, we have Hero. Spelt H-I-R-O. I could be pronouncing that wrong. If I am, feel free to yell at me in the comments. But he is also one of the breeding pair horses I have. This is also a gift from Nyx. So again, thank you. I do like the markings. I think the orange really looks nice on the red. All right, next is Jade. Again, this is one I'm not sure if I'm going to keep. They are being used for a breeding project, but they are super fluffy and they're grays and blacks. And I think it's really pretty, honestly. They're the closest I have to what I'm going for for the breeding project right now, which if you don't know, I'm trying to breed pitch black, super fluffy unicorns because I think they're going to be really, really cute. Next up, we have Pineapple, which I'm sure you could figure out why I named them Pineapple. I actually bought this guy in an auction. They were so fluffy and they looked really cute. Like, I really like the color combo, so I snatched them up. I don't know if I'm going to use them for breeding or anything because it's really hard to breed them with a horse out of the ones I have, at least, that, you know, look decent. Like, the outcome looks decent. I think they're really cute, though. Love the pattern. Love the color combo. And it honestly kind of reminds me of Uttershy's color a little bit. I feel like the pattern makes it look a little darker, but if it didn't have the pattern, I feel like it would be pretty close to Fluttershy's color from, from My Little Pony. Okay, and this is the last unicorn before we get to the alicorns. So this is Unity. Unity was a accidental product of the brooding project I was working on. She's purple and black, but she also has some white paint markings on her, and I, it's so pretty. I've decided I am going to keep her even though she's not what I was going for with the breeding project, but she's still super cute, so of course I'm gonna keep her. She's she's so pretty. And maybe with the final product, I can breed them and Unity, and then she'll be useful for that still. Alrighty, we're gonna start with my favorite alicorn. This is Achilles. Achilles is a wild alicorn that I caught. However, I did not find him. My friend Evan, who does a lot of channel art, was the one who found him, but she did not have unicorns unlocked, so she asked me if I wanted him, and I said yes, and he has become my favorite alicorn slash unicorn out of any of them I own. He is super fluffy. 
He's also what inspired my unicorn breeding project. He's also going to be perhaps a character in something that I'm working on. Is that a white gargoyle in the background? We'll, we'll check that out afterwards. Right, next up we have Elm, which they will probably get a name change. If you guys have name suggestions, definitely tell me. But this was something I traded for from Nyx. Not surprisingly, of course, I got all of my red unicorns and alicorn from Nyx. I do really love them. They have fantasy wings. The tail looks really nice on it, even though it is a little, like, torn up. I think it's still pretty cute. I think they're honestly super pretty. It was definitely worth the price I paid. I paid, I think, about 15k in the carrot on a stick, like, as payment. And it was definitely worth it. Alright, next we have Ezekiel, which was a gift from NYX. He's pink with a little tiny pink, a tiny pink. He is pink with a little tiny bit of pinkish purple also in here. I absolutely love him. I do wish his horn was a different color, but you know, it was a gift. I can't complain. He also has fantasy wings, if I recall. Yes, and I absolutely love him. He's actually named after one of my OCs named Ezekiel. I feel like that should be pretty obvious. Who is, he has pink hair and he's half rabbit, not Jackson. Not Blitz, I know. I have a lot of pink rabbit characters. <laughs> it's it's fine. But Ezekiel is also the name of my stream chatbot, Pockybot. That, so he's named after Pockybot as well. All right, next up we have Moose, which was also a gift from Kaden. I absolutely love Moose. They're so cute. Fun fact, I actually saw this horse during a stream, and I mentioned that I really liked it, and I almost bought it during auction, but I ended up not purchasing it. And shortly after... I said I was not going to buy it. It was purchased. It was bought by somebody else. So I was like, okay, you know, whatever. Went on with my life. Hayden bought it and didn't tell me until like weeks later. So I did end up getting that alicorn I wanted just by different circumstances. Um, I do have a couple more alicorns, but they are currently on my alt account. So we're going to get a surprise visit from the vanilla two. So let me go grab that really quick. There he is in the background. Just a friendly note though, I don't normally play on this alt account. He's like just for storage purposes. Anybody claiming to be my alt account? It's probably not me. All right, so this right here is Flurry. This was actually a gift from a viewer. They're absolutely adorable and they're my main horse that I use on this specific alt account. There's not much to say about them as it was a viewer gift. I don't remember exactly who gave this to me. But thank you. I really do appreciate it. I'll have to go back and look at one the stream where it was gifted to me. And see who it was. Alright, next we have one of the other unicorn... Next, we have one of the alicorns that I caught. However, again, I was not the one who found this one. My mod Aloha, who I would also consider a friend. They were in my private server, I believe. Could have been Tango's private server. Somebody's private server. And they told me, hey, I found an alicorn, but I can't catch it. Do you want it? I said, sure. What should I name it? So Aloha decided to name this guy. Aloha Knees. So that's his name. <laughs> it's very goofy, but you know what? It's okay. I think they're really cute. I think the wings look really cute on them. Not the hugest fan of the texture, but they're still very cute. All right, quick honorable mention before we show the last alicorn I have. This is Saffron. They don't really have an actual name. It's just randomly picked. This was a unicorn I caught on stream, and I thought they were really cute, so I kept them. And here they are. Last but not least... This is the first alicorn I ever caught. This is false Ken. You might be wondering, why is it false Ken and not fake Ken or something like that? Well, I thought it'd be really funny, which in hindsight, this is kind of stupid, but I thought it'd be really funny to name him like false eyelashes, but he kind of reminded me of Ken. So we named him false Ken. It, it, it's really dumb. I know, but I found it funny and that's his name now. <laughs> So this is False Ken. Not my favorite combination of traits and colors, but he's not bad. All right, though. With that, that is all of my unicorns and alicorns on both my main account and my alt account. 
I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys have a name for the red alicorn, please let me know because I'd love to get them a more fitting name that I like. I'm going to hit you guys with a question of the day because I haven't done that in a very long time. Would you rather have a winged unicorn or a winged gargoyle in horse life? I hope you guys have a great day or night. I will see you all later. Bye, everyone.